Hello everybody and welcome once again back to Running Red. I have built in the meantime this device, the energetic infuser, and in the energetic infuser I've charged up this jetpack so it's now fully charged. So let's put that on. You never know, might need a jetpack. Also the altar's empty, so let's just oh so I want to turn the altar on. I think this actually now works. You see it goes red. So it's now working. And let's just fill up the altar a bit. Has that filled up the altar? Yes. In fact, I also got a little red heart. Can I, let's put this red heart away here. I was sorting out my inventory a bit. Ah, oh, I got another gunpowder. Let's shove that away a bit. Oh, and I also got to claim some rewards, haven't I? What was that there? I got two of these miniature hearts. Another steel oh no obsidian sword a few bits and pieces so we can take now we'll leave the end of pills there put those in this chest of course steel chest plate i should have two of those where's the other one gone to i don't see it And there was something else I found in here. Where has it gone to? I can't see it. Press the sort button. Now this. That's medium sword. And I want to go over here and put the other heart into here. Right, good. Okay, good. So now, let's have a look. Go back to the quest book because we haven't looked at that for a while. So I've got some quests. Two quests with unclaimed rewards. So this will be the first one. Let's open up this and get my take the notch apple, of course. Let's go and put the what we've got away. So we can put away the wrong one. The Aubrey apple and the notch apple. Move this out of the way, sort this a bit. Keep it messy. Goes into this chest. Let's get the reward bag. Right, click this. I got some more orbs, florbs. Let's put those over here. So I click a symbol. I think I put them in. Sixteen. That's good. So that's not bad. Let's go to the next reward here. Right, click this. That one was done, so the next one that's completed for the next hour or so. And I think here, one quest. So the one we've got is this one where we made the bound blade. So we shall pick a four notch apples, which is good. So we've now got uh, a full heart. Let's click that 20 lives. Uh, and what else? Let's take the reward bag. Oh, an epic reward bag. That's unusual and we've got three eight blank slates that's good actually really quite helpful that's 8000 LP so let's go back over here I also put in here two stones the ruins of dislocation that allows the blood to flow out of here at a higher rate not that much higher but at the moment it's you see it's going down to around about 28 ago so to fill that up. Yes, another one or two will do. That'll keep filling up. I'll have to keep doing this now. Well, my intention is to build the, the, a tier four altar, probably beside it. I think I shall keep this one because you need some way of being able to get XP for the enchantments. And it's fun. So here we go. Let's dump this XP down while I'm thinking about it. I probably need to eat while that's doing that. Let's do that as well. Right. This looks as though it's just about full. Did I get my. Yes, I did. Good. So, next quest. Let's have a look what we've got to do next. That was done. So now. Although you can see me smile, I have to make 20 blood runes. And I get 64 florbs as a 
as a reward. Okay, that's basically 64 buckets of blood. 20 blood runes. I don't think I've got 20 blood runes. Let's have a look. Where did I put the blood runes? I think I put them over here. I moved everything out of the way. 28. There we go. How about that? Should be an easy quest. Manual detect. There we go. Claim reward. Of course, however, this is a house, yes. This was actually the quest to do the, the tier three altar, so I had to do four glowstone and the 20, uh, and the 20 reward blood runes. So let's put the blood runes back in here, because I don't need those very much at the moment. And let's put the blood or florbs in here. Actually, that's getting a bit full with florbs. Not what it's supposed to be doing and the notch apples let's go and put those away over here i think these notch apples were also because of the um upgrading the master ritual stone um the magician's orb let's have a look what have we got to do now bargaining and i've got to make a void sigil and i will get a field so oh, good field socket a reward bag and a golden apple I'm actually not 100% sure what the void sigil does, but I think I've just got about time to make a void sigil. Let's have a look what the recipe is. This is where I was making some more runes. Void sigil. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. We can do that, no problem at all. I think I have almost everything we need here. One, I think that's a reinforced or a blank slate. It looks like a reinforced slate. Six buckets. An apprentice blood orb. And a piece of string. Hopefully we have a piece of string in one of these chests. And I haven't turned everything to dirt. There's one more place I should keep string. Well... Yeah, and here we've got 64 string in here. And those 64 string have come from the spiders I've been slaying. Be I think the spiders are just dying in there, so. So I wanted to stop, I knew I wanted to stop there for a reason. In fact, we can do a quick repair job on those two steel leggings. back onto here and make this I think I'm not sure yes it is I've got it right better than a Swiffer let's have a look at the quest book tells me what it says so now I'm good shape so I've got to make a fields eight filled sockets and an armor soul armor forge these are going to be good fun and now we'll get back yes these filled sockets so eight filled sockets and a soul armor forge right how do we do a, a, a filled socket i think this is going to be one of these quests that's going to take a while to do here we have a filled socket so that's made from an empty socket in a, a tier 3 old blood altar with 30,000 lp and this needs eight blocks of iron so that's where we need the iron for so each block of iron is nine so we need you're back so we need 8972 times 8. Let me calculate. That's a lot of blocks. Of, that's a lot of blocks. Of, anyway, I've got a look. I've already got a little bit prepared. I did say I needed this. Oh, wow. How about that? Eight empty sockets. So that was one stack of iron. Oh, one stack of bl iron, blocks of iron for that. Right, and now I need to do the altar. And I'm going to have to upgrade the altar, oh, change the altar. Because I need... Actually, I'm not sure what this void seal does. Let's just see. Just a second. I was having a quick sneeze. Let's go and find something I don't want. Maybe just one of these pieces. Why don't I click that? Nope. Right, let's click it. 
No. So what does this signal do then? It is click to me. Left clicking, right clicking doesn't do anything. How about this one? No. Is this for liquids? Yes, there you go. Void signal actually takes up liquids. So I can simply click this one back again. Get it back again. I think it's only for liquids. Ah, I suppose it's a sort of a the opposite of the lava signal and the water signal, so that's pretty good. So anyway. Quickly let's get this art. Here we've got nineteen blood runes. Here I've got my signal signal of magnetic I can't say it. And I'm going to start digging up these. Okay. I have to actually be careful at the ends because be the reason I have to be careful at the ends is because the um, they can't see me from here. Let's move that out of the way and put this one down here. Actually, I should put a standard block of stone over there, and I haven't got any with me. Let's just get some of that. Put this eight on the corner so you can can reach it from there. I just should put some down here as well. That'll do it. Come to that. Ah, let's see. Right. And then that flew into the, the hopper. Should just take it down again. Something to do with it. <laughs> Come on, I'll leave it like that for the time being. I'll put these down if I can reach. Walk along the edge here and do the same thing over here with these. So that's interesting too. Mm, never mind. I shall actually go and do that because I do want to have all the four corners put in. Now, there we have it. Now, if I go and take the divination suit and have a look here, we should see it's now got 37,000. The last two are just these two. Let's just get rid of these two for the time being. Because it's 1500, isn't it, per block? Down there, and down there. And now I should be at 40,000 on the, on the altar. Yes, 40,000. Now this, of course, will... Uh, the mob, the mob killing here is going to be, give me less blood. See, a lot less blood. But there are a lot more mobs. In fact, I can quite happily kill all of these mobs, knowing full well that there's not going to waste any of their blood. See, there's a lot more mobs being spawned now. And how much blood do we have in the altar? 27,000. So we do almost have now enough to actually do the, to fill a socket. I've got to remember that it's actually dropping down, so I've got to be careful. 28,000, let's just turn this off again. I still have the blood runes here, of course, which gives me a bit more blood. There we have 30,000 and it's still going down. Interesting. I'm not sure how fast the sockets fill up, we shall find out. 
it's good that they've been out of here. Oh, look at this typical full of stuff. And we want to put a socket in there. Of course, I'm going to have to get rid of all of this bits. So let's put them into the vacuum hopper. Was there anything else? Yes, that one I'll keep. Okay, now let's take the orb out of us here. And let's see what happens. So now I should get a filled socket. I think this is what's going to happen. Let's double check. Yes, you can see it's going down and it's filling up. So let's take the orb again and put this back into place in the hopper. And just be in case, let's get my dagger of sacrifice. I don't think I need it. I think this is actually going down very fast. Actually that's turned on. Oh no, this time it turned off. It seems to be a bit inconsistent. Yeah, it seems to be a bit inconsistent. So, have it finished? Yes it has, look. And we've still got a little bit of blood, 630, in the altar. So let's take this out. And we now have one filled socket. Let's go and quickly look at the quest book again. And manual detect. It should have actually tell me I've got one. That's weird. Filled socket. Anyway. No problem. Let's put the other ones the ruins dislocation in here and I shall have to make a lot more blood and I shall come back let's put those ruins in there as well uh, when I've got everything prepared until then bye for now